you definitely don't want to miss out on this free lifetime deal that will normally cost you 80 bucks. Now, it's not like a demo thing. It's the whole version for free. Now, it's a video kit that's going to let you compress, edit video, and a whole lot more. Now, on this video, we're going to check it out. And if you want to grab that free version, link provided in the description. So let's go and jump over to this video. What's up, everyone? Like I said, it's called East Us, and it's a video kit for Windows and Mac. So there's two versions available, and the links will be provided in the description. Now, it's 100% free, and normally this would cost you $80. Now, to show you this is not a lie, if you jump over to their website, and if you want to grab the East Us video kit, if you go to buy, the lifetime would cost you $79.95. In this case, it's 100% free. Go ahead and grab it, and you're going to get the whole version. So you're going to get everything right there. Now, what I've done is I've installed Ease Us Video Kit, and I'm going to launch it right now before your eyes for the first time. So let's go check this out. And I'm actually going to add my license that I got for free, and we're going to test it out. Here we go. It just launched. So let me go ahead and add my license. I would think I have to click on upgrade. Let me enter my license. Let's go ahead and activate it. And boom, we just got the license for free. So let me go ahead and test this out. Video converter. So I can add and drag a video file here to start a conversion. So let me go ahead and choose one of my files. I'm going to allow it. OK, let's go into desktop and I'm going to grab this one right here. This one, that's too many gigabytes. So this one less than a gigabyte. OK, so let's see what it's going to do. So I can do any do to any do. So MP4 to MP4. Let's go ahead and choose what we want to do with this. Let's hear the gear icon and I can choose to lower the quality of this. So I'll change this to 720p. And here we go. It's going to change from 4K to 720p. OK, so let's go ahead and convert this. And it's going to tell me that it's going to reduce it from 919 megabytes to 329 megabytes. So let's go ahead and convert this. Like I said, this is going to be for free. I don't have to use another software. Or I don't have to use something that would cost me money. And OK, let's wait for this to finish. OK, it's about to finish 99%. This took around roughly four minutes, three minutes. OK. To convert this remember this is a gigabyte file and this would obviously um impact depending on the computer that you are using okay so we have it converted it's finished we go over here to finish and now we have it it's now 329 megabytes i go ahead and open this and edit it if i want to next is the video compressor now what that means is obviously it's going to lose a little bit of quality but it's going to reduce the file size drastically it should okay so change the file size by clicking to 70 percent so let me go ahead and select one of the files 145 megabytes. So let's see how much it's going to reduce it. So right now it can reduce it to what does it say? So from 138 to 96 megabytes. So that's a compression it can do. I can choose a file size right here. Quality, it's high. I can choose, choose standard and it should lower the quality. So I can say low, for example, and I'll choose 80%. There we go. So 110 megabytes. So I want file size 50%. And here it is. And I can start the compression right there. So pretty much pretty much straightforward. And I like that it's included here. OK, then there's the audio converter so I can drag a file. Let's see what it can do. OK, so I'm going to choose this business MP3. Let me go ahead and open this and see what options I'm getting. So let's go ahead and select this and I can change the quality and I can change the file format. So let's just say that this one original is MP3 and I'm going to change it to wave. OK. I can change to lose this quality fit. OK, let's go ahead and select that. And it's going to be same file size, but it's going to be changed from MP3 to a WAV file. So that's pretty cool. Audio extractor. So that means that I can add a video, I'm guessing. Yeah, you add a video and it's going to extract the audio from it. OK, so in this case, my voice and it's going to turn out to be an AAC file, 40 megabytes. And I can go ahead and select for I would choose MP3, which is more popular. And I'm OK with low quality, which is still good. 128 kilobytes and I can extract it right here. 60 megabytes to extract that file, the audio from that video. OK, and then there's a GIF maker for this. Add a video and start making a GIF. So again, let's go ahead and add this one. See what it can do. Here we go. Let's go ahead and reduce it drastically to, I don't know, a few seconds. There we go. 12 seconds. And then I can choose start time and time from here. The output size. Keep original ratio frame rate. I can change it since this is a GIF. I can change this to uh, I'll say 25 frames per second and then I can create a GIF. Let me go ahead and open this up and here we go. What it actually did was created the frames. Maybe I'm not opening it up with the correct 
software here, but it did create a GIF. But for me, it would be easier if we created a kind of a video in a GIF. So picture to GIF, that's also possible and video to GIF. So all of these tools are included in this free version that would normally cost you 80 bucks and it's available for Windows and Mac and the link will be provided in the description in case you want to grab it. And that's a wrap.